Hey guys, welcome back to Come Again TV, where all geek culture collides. I'm Shannon, and today we're going to be taking a look at Star Trek The Next Generation, Mirror Broken, so stay tuned. Alright guys, as I said today, we'll be taking a look at Star Trek The Next Generation, Mirror Broken, the free comic book day 2017 issue. Written by David and Scott Tipton, with art by J.K. Woodward, Mirror Broken is the free comic book day 2017 exclusive. Since we never visited the alternate timeline during the Next Generation series, IDW brought the concept into comic book form. The introduction, space, the final frontier. These are the voyages of the ISS Enterprise. Its continuing mission to conquer strange new worlds, to enslave new life and new civilizations, to boldly go where no one has gone before. Return to the mirror universe with the next generation crew in a way you've never seen them before. Captain Jean-Luc Picard will stop at nothing to get his hands on the Terran Empire's newest starship, the Enterprise, and no one had better stand in his way. In this special prequel to the all-new miniseries, out in May, Lieutenant Barclay makes some surprising decisions and finds himself facing unexpected enemies and allies. But in a world where murder is a means to power, are allies merely enemies lurking in the shadows? Reginald Barclay is the star of this issue. It turns out the Terran Empire has collapsed, and most of its ships have been destroyed. Barclay serves in engineering aboard the ISS Stargazer, which spends its time on solar system duty, helping to patrol and enforce what's left of the once mighty empire. How did this happen? According to Barclay, Emperor Spock's weak-willed era of reform made it feeble and indecisive. The Cardassian-Klingon alliance took advantage and crushed it. Here, we discover that a bearded Captain Picard is in command of the vessel and is accompanied by the ship's counselor, Deanna Troy, who he uses to snoop on the minds of his crew in order to get ahead of any uprisings. We also discover that Lieutenant Tasha Yar is in charge of escorting Vulcan slave ships as head of security. Barclay gets attacked by Ensign Clock, who's tired of being the low man on the totem pole. With Barclay out of the way, the Ensign will become the new lieutenant. However, Ensign Clock is then electrocuted by Lieutenant Commander Data, who Data saw as merely in the way of his travel. He tells Barkley he doesn't owe him anything. It was because Ensign Clock was on top of Barkley that he was the one to get electrocuted, because they were in his way. Lieutenant Commander Data in this universe seems to have many upgrades that look very similar to Borg technology. He makes for a very menacing cybernetic presence. Later, we see Barkley attack Yar from behind, stabbing her in the back and killing her. In response to this, Barkley is praised by Picard for curbing Tasha's ambition. You see, Picard put the, set the whole thing in motion. It's here that Picard makes Barkley his new head of security. I'm really enjoying this series as it's quite possibly the best written Star Trek story out there. It actually seems like it could be the lost episode of The Next Generation. The uniforms in the Mirror Universe are awesome, with many crew, including Captain Picard, taking a sleeveless approach to their uniforms with sashes around their waists with corresponding color to their division. The rest of the style of the uniforms remain relatively untouched, save for the pants being tucked into the boots and the Imperial badge. We see Picard very muscular, not a raging hulk of a person, but more of a well-built naturally strong both physically and mentally type character. His beard makes him even more distinguished as it's a thin beard along his jawline coming to a traditional captain's point at his chin. It's a look I would have loved to see Patrick Stewart take on at some point in the television series as proven by this comic which pinpoints the design of each character physically. I think he could pull it off. Overall, 
I'd have to say this issue gets a 9 out of 10 stars for me. And I can't wait to review the other issues coming up in the following weeks. I'm Shannon for Comagen TV. Live long and conquer. Hey guys, if you like this video, make sure you smash that subscribe button and click on the little bell to receive notifications on all our upcoming videos. Hit the like button, make sure and leave us a comment so we know how you felt about this video. And don't forget to share with your family and friends. Until next time, I'm Shannon from Come Again, where all geek culture collides.